Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika, in with uh, a little less chat, celebrity news edition. I wanted to come in and talk uh, a little bit with you all about this new Kevin Hart debacle that's going on. Now, Kevin Hart has been in the news quite a bit over the last few weeks, out to a couple of months now, and um, I honestly, guys, I'll say. I'm not really a Kevin Hart fan. I'm I'm gonna be honest with y'all about that. I think I told y'all that before. He is not funny to me. He is just not funny to me. I don't find him funny at all. But I mean, and I side eye people who act like he's just the funniest thing since whatever. I, he just not to me. But regardless of what I say or how I personally feel, you cannot deny that the man has done some amazing things with his career in a short, a short amount of time. So, okay, kudos to Kevin Hart, but I ain't here for him shit. But anyway, let's go through the timeline of the events that have gone on involving this uh, little pimple of a man. Now, we had him, a video came out a couple, maybe a month and a half, two months ago, where he was in the car and it was a female in the back seat, a back seat passenger of this vehicle. And to me, it seemed like he was a little bit too close in her personal space. However, you know, people were um, speculating that he could be cheating again. And he came out with this video basically saying people are hating and they jealous because they don't have what he had with his rib, yada, yada, yada. Okay, whatever, Kevin. Then a few weeks later, if not a week or two later, we saw his wife put up a anniversary post, and basically she stated how long she had been with him. Well, a fan or possibly a troll got in her comments and said that she may want to check those dates again because the dates she was getting given as how long as to how long she had been with Kevin would make her have been his side piece when he was still with Tori Hart, the ex-wife. Well, instead of her ignoring that comment or deleting it, she decided she wanted to uh, respond to it and basically said that Tori and Kevin had a lot of problems in their marriage before she came along. Lies she telling. I can't say they weren't having problems, but you don't know what the situation really was in their in their marriage at that time. But what we all do know is you were seeing this man at the same time he was still in his marriage with Tori Hart. We didn't give a shit because, you know, I pro well, I ain't going to say we, I say I. I didn't care because this is nothing new to me. So I didn't really care. However, by you responding to that, trying to clarify that you were not indeed a side chick when we can do the calculation, and I'm like, Tori Hart, numbers don't lie. You forced her to have to come out and say something because what you failing to realize is this situation has gotten bigger. These kids that he has with Tori are now of age where they got cell phones and they on the internet. Okay, so she can't just sit there and let you lie on her. So she came back and she responded to your comments that you had made to uh, the fan that was on your page. She didn't even come for you. She just basically said that the numbers don't tell no lie and she don't have a problem with you because y'all at a point now where y'all are co-parenting these children and dealing with the family blend, blended family issue quite nicely. Very nicely spoken. She didn't have an attitude. I didn't get bitter bitch syndrome in her at all. Okay? So, that happens. Now, we still talking a little bit about it on social media. You know, people dragging Aniko for lying because we all know Aniko is lying, you know. So, Kanisha Y is out here being, ple uh, you know, tr just drug in the media because she trying to play us. And we, we know the timeline. We not crazy, okay? So, unfortunately, what happens next is the Hurricane Harvey situation that devastated parts of Houston and surrounding areas. Now... Kevin Hart decided that he was going to do a video at that time issuing a challenge to all of his A-list celebrity friends 
it was called the Hurricane Harvard Charge where, uh, Challenge, where you donate $25,000 to hurricane uh, relief, basically. So, you know, of course, that made the news and people were talking about that. And some of the celebrities wasn't here for him calling them out. Some of the celebrities said they would indeed take the challenge and donate the 25000 Chris Brown did 100000 And, you know, it was about, various other artists were involved in it. They all pretty much did their part, okay? So that got our attention off Mr. Kevin Hart's personal situation. So, you know, I guess he thought it was all good in the hood. Wasn't nothing going to be coming out about him. He was now cast back in the type of light that he would like to be in, where he was deemed uh, this family man and this humanitarian. Okay, yay, whatever. So then, yesterday, he releases a video basically apologizing to his wife and his children because he had sinned yet again. Now, he never said in that video that he had cheated, but by the way that he was talking, we could very well put the pieces together and know that this man is admitting to cheating on his his pregnant wife, his now pregnant wife, okay? The one he cheated on his first wife with and married her, and now she's very, very pregnant. Like, I think this baby is due, like, within the next few weeks or something like that, okay? Or the next coming months. She's very pregnant. He's issuing this apology out here and, you know, saying that they uh, someone was trying to extort millions of dollars for him, from him by uh, threatening to release these tapes that he's supposed to be on stepping out on his wife. But he decided that he was not going to be a victim of blackmail. So what he's going to do is he's going to spill his own tea. Now, to me, when I saw that, I didn't feel not one bit of sympathy for him. I simply felt like he was trying to get ahead of the person who was going to release the video. He was trying to sway the narrative to where people would somewhat still feel sympathy for him so that it would not cause him any problems in his career. Now, him coming out as a cheater or the video, which has now been released by Fameless.com, I'll link it in the video description box. But if he has admitted that he's cheating... And he's doing this because, not because he's a good man and he wants to come clean, but he's only doing this here because he wants to control the narrative. He want to be the first to put it out there so that we would still feel some sort of sympathy so he don't find himself, his career taking a hit. Now, like I said, I'm not saying his career will be over, but will it take a hit behind this? It most certainly will. Because mostly women support him and most women ain't down with that cheat shit. Now you don't see him or his wife saying shit else on the damn uh, blogs anymore. Aniko ain't got no smart replies for this because she got ass in her face right now. This is a classic case, women, of um, the same way you get him is how you can lose him. Okay? That's a classic case, and this is karma coming back to her. That's why even though she's pregnant, very pregnant, I don't feel sorry for her because she didn't feel sorry for Tori when she was creeping around with Kevin and destroying, helping him destroy his marriage, which thus destroyed their family bond for quite some time before they was able to get that back together. I don't feel bad for either parties involved. The person I feel bad mostly for is for their children because they of age where they're going to school. He's a huge name in the entertainment in the entertainment industry. So you know that people are kids are on the internet. They on social media. They're gonna see all of this. And why? Because that little short pimple of a daddy can't keep his pee pee in his damn pants. A serial cheater. And Aniko, I do not feel bad for you, Enchilada, because you brought this on your damn self. You thought it was cool because you was a side girl that had been promoted up to wife. But now did you forget when you took when you left your side piece position when in his life that that left that position open you was upgraded to wife so somebody had to be the side piece and by the videos that was released by fameless tonight that one incident that he's claiming ain't his only incident with this particular female it looked like he been had an ongoing relationship with her but it ain't been i don't know i can't say that it's been for 
months or years. I don't know the length of time, but he's familiar with her. And that's that's evident in the tapes. And I'm going to link that article from Famous down in the uh, description box where you can hear him apologizing as well as you can see footage of the video where he is in the video allegedly having sex and entertaining this female. I feel no sympathy. Not one fuck can I find for a Nico or anybody other than the children because this is what you get. For months, you you paraded your, well, month, for months, shit, for years, you paraded your relationship in front of this woman's face. How does it feel, my love? How does it feel, child? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, what a tangle web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Child, you ain't never going to win when you play dirty. I'm not surprised. Kevin won shit when he was Tory and she was his backbone. She was there when he had nothing. When he got a little something, he upgraded to old Enchilada. Enchilada began to bore him because it wasn't the excitement of being with her anymore because they wasn't sneaking and she was everything was out in the open. So he had to go and get him something else. Girl, these men will do it every time. They would cheat with anybody that's willing to cheat with them. Some of them will. And uh, clearly, you crazy if you thought that he wouldn't do to you what he did to his first wife, who was there when he was broke, and gave him two children. Girl, you was only a matter of time before he was going to show you who he truly is, and now you know. You ain't going to go nowhere, because I know you ain't stupid. But this, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. And you ain't what you thought you was. That's all I have to say about that. I'll link uh, famous articles down in my description box. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video wherever it is you share videos. And remember always, y'all, that the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. Get in the panty and let me know your thoughts and opinions. And we'll talk about this some more a little bit later. I'll see you guys back for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Peace.